Hey, look at that. The sky is actually like not completely dark ones. So it's a con day. I've got my wagon of stuff to load in the car and we'll be on the road soon. It's five o'clock. I've been up since four. I got up early to take a shower and do some last minute sewing. I'm also bringing some sewing for the car and at the con itself if there's any like lulls. I can make some things. But yeah, I am super excited. I feel pretty prepared for this one. So let's get loaded and then hit the road. Hard to see, but we got everything loaded up in here with room to spare. And of course I loaded the trunk a few days ago. But yeah, got everything packed up. Plenty of room so you can see with the rear view mirror. Pretty light load today, but don't worry. It looks like there's not much, but there is a lot here. We are all set up and because no one showed up at this table we are sharing it so i put all my buttons over here all the things that i decluttered since i'm at a vendor booth cards plushies i made not too many plushies because i was focused on commissions but i made a few and of course all my manufactured stuff so yeah hopefully it'll be a good con and this is Rumble and Roar. He sells all these wands. <laughs> and uh, hopefully soon he'll get to do some wholesale plush for me, especially with the manufactured things and stuff like that. So I can hit some cons that I'm not doing and both get some goodies out of it. Love that lightsaber. <laughs> my hands come off. Vendor hall just opened. I changed my shirt. And now I am rushing back to get to my booth. It's gonna be an exciting day. I can't wait. And this is my spoils for the trip. I'm not gonna get anything else. They didn't have any of the Japanese Pokemon cards like I had been hoping to get because that one person's in here. So instead I got a box of Digimon cards because I've been wanting them forever and I can never find them. Also like it has Imperial Dramon on it. Um, Dragon Shield because the clear purple sounds really cool and I always can use more Dragon Shield. And then this was $5 and I don't have that Celestia card. I collect the uh, pony cards, so. That's my purchases for the con. Now let's hope that we get to make some profits. I opened my promo pack. Look at these beautiful boys. Also in Kilomon, but look at my boys. Oh my gosh, they're beautiful. Okay, so I'm weak and I went ahead and got the box of the other set of the Digimon cards. So this will have different cards in the other box, but they're so pretty. I'll have to show them off at the end of the video. They're super pretty. As far as con, things are going good. Hopefully I can do a walk around soon. Lunch time. I got some fries and a burger from BurgerFi. Hopefully it's good. Yep, it's a win. This is a good burger. Okay, so I'm just doing a quick walkthrough because um, I don't want to leave my table too long. And I already did a walkthrough of this last time. Uh, cosplay contest is happening over there. Last time I think it was in a different room. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, I'm just walking around and looking at different things real quick and uh, yeah, enjoy the video. not wearing masks um in my state you're allowed to if you've been vaccinated not wear your mask so uh that's why there's a lot of people not wearing masks just wanted to update you guys so you wouldn't be concerned
Magic the Gathering, and if you do, if you play Strixhaven, what school are you in? I'm in Witherbloom, and I also can side with Silver Quill. So, let me know down below. Your girl got two of the Strixhaven Commander decks. So many people here were selling them for like 50, and the red and blue one for 60. And that guy had them both for 30. So I was like. I'll take that. Store cost is like 40 anyway, so heck yeah. But now your girl is spent. <laughs> For the artist alley this time i could not find them last time sorry the last hickory con vlog is sans artist alley you enjoyed that walk around right now I am working on some more bats they've been selling really good I use my uh, scrap fabric to make these and then I have some different fabrics to use with it uh, inspired by of course when I had like 50 random um, cotton yards delivered to my house and uh, they didn't ask me to send it back so I've been looking for different things to do with it so yeah making some little bats and here's hoping the rest of the con goes good. We only have a few hours left and the cosplay contest is underway. So we'll see how uh, the traffic keeps going. I was so tired after the con, I forgot to film an ending. I literally came home, ate some food and passed out and have pretty much been sleeping from a combination of that and allergy medicine medicines for like several days now. But we are awake and can finally film a quick end. Um, here are the Digimon cards I got. I'm just going to show them off real quick at the end of the video. I think they're awesome. They're so cool. I threw in a few of my old cards that I still had as well. Like, the art on these is beautiful. I'm really glad that I got the boxes that I did. It's my one big con splurge. They're just, they're beautiful. Look at these. Look at this art. It is top-notch. 
just amazing. I put them in a sort of order by like show and everything since I love the Digimon show. This is a card I made when I was like 10 or 11. Um, I saw the third season where uh, he made his own Digimon and it came real. And so I made my own Digimon card. <laughs> oh, the eye, the mind of a child. <laughs> but yeah, these are beautiful. So um, as far as the con went, it wasn't as good as the one in March. But that's okay. We kind of had a heads up about that since um, the, we're so close together. Normally they just do May and October. But since they did March this year, a lot of people just went to the March one. But uh, there was definitely a lot less mass this time. Um, but a lot more people are vaccinated. Like our state is over half vaccinated. And then an additional percent also has their first shot and waiting on their second. So my state is doing pretty good on that. There's all the cards. It's so pretty. Last time we had the benefit of a lot of people getting their stimulus checks. I'm still waiting on mine. Um, but I figure a lot of people are in the same boat where they're either not have it yet or they've already had it and spent it. Plus, there's no, like, tax time or anything around this time. So, several different factors. But the money was still really good. It was still worth doing. I'll be doing the October show as well. Just a fun time. And a lot of people really liked the bats that I had. And it was just a good time. Um, I got to talk to more people and see more people I hadn't seen in a while. And with everyone being vaccinated, it did feel more safe. And everyone felt more comfortable. So... It was still a fun crowd, still really good to see everyone, and so I had a great time. I can't wait for next Hickory Comic Con. As of now, um, I'm doing BabsCon online this coming weekend, and then my next in-person show really depends on any acceptances that I get in the next week or two, but right now it's looking like the next con I do will be Queen City Anime Convention in Charlotte. And then after that, um, not 100% sure what's next after that. I'll have to see in June, but I'm excited for it, and it, that will be a three-day show, and I haven't done a three-day show since last February? Last March. It was last March um, with the a, uh, not Ace, uh, Blue Ridge Fur Fair. So that was the last show that I did that was three days, so it'll be really good to get back into the three-day swing of things. So I'm excited, and a lot of people seem really excited to get out and spin, so I can't wait for cons to be back. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick look at Hickory Comic Con, and whatever cons I do next, you can be sure that I will have a vlog out for them. Take care, guys!